You know, it came to my attention that breakfast consisted of bagels, Cheerios, uh, maybe some eggs sometimes. If you're, if you're traveling and you go to the hotel, they have maybe bacon, one of the, you know, sometimes at the continental breakfast. I tell you what you don't see enough. You don't see waffles at home. And I'm not, I'm not talking about the make your own waffles. Pretty much just some frozen waffles. Lately, I've been on this kick. I've been eating these protein waffles. Not for the protein. They just happen to taste good. And that's what's in the house. Uh, I don't, I don't know how many units of with grams of protein i don't know the the number or the quantity i mean they're like a vanilla flavored i forget what i was talking about steve weiner here from getrevix.com and today we're going to take a look at how you can sort out any of the new copilot plus pcs with the snapdragon cpus in them or really just any arm based windows machine and how we can make sure we don't accidentally push apps to it that don't belong there or just kind of get a handle on it with Intune. Yeah, I don't know. Something about waffles. Why don't we do a new character on the picture? Like a waffle. Just whatever. Get Rubik's. Solving for the modern workplace. Okay, so if you pay attention to like tech news and laptop stuff, um and you use PCs, no doubt you've come across these guys. Coming out a little bit earlier this year, these are all a new generation of ARM-based PCs with Snapdragon processors, and they're kind of coining them as co-pilot PCs, but that's not the point. The point is they're ARM-based. So if you don't know, we'll do a, a too long, didn't, too short, didn't, TLDR. That's it. We'll do a TLDR. ARM basically means the entire system of the computer, right, is on a chip. So the RAM, uh, the CPU, the graphics, similar to what's in a phone or a tablet. ARM-based PCs aren't new. They initially, well, I don't know when they initially started, but the first one that kind of went mainstream that came across my desk was the Surface Pro X, I believe it was called. So it was kind of the new body of the Surface. Right around the time, I think it was like the six or seven was out. Um, the whole point is it was ARM-based. And the idea of why you would want to go ARM is so you get kind of similar to a phone, right? All day battery, uh, more efficient uh, on the power side, and hopefully better performance. Then, of course, Apple came along with their version of ARM, which was the M chips, the M1. And that's like it was made by uh, a wizard, right? They were super fast and snappy. Battery lasted for days. It, it really crazy, but the Windows folks were kind of left in the dark. So the bottom line is now we have a competitor in the Windows space because we have all these Snapdragon PCs. If you're looking to introduce these computers into your corporate environment, there are going to be concerns over certain app compatibility and maybe drivers. So we have to at least know where they are in Intune to either watch out for them or push specific software and policy to them. All right, so luckily there's an easy way to do this with PowerShell. We can simply do the get sim instance. Our class name is going to be Win32 Operating System. And then we can select objects. Uh, here, I'll just do OS architecture. Okay, and you can see we come back with 64 bit, right? Um, now, if this were ARM, this would come back ARM64. Or if this were, you know, 32 bit, it would come back through. So it, whatever it's going to be, you can capture that in a variable if you wanted to. So just to give you, well here, just to give you an example of what a detection would look like if you're thinking along the lines of detection. See, I'm starting to know what you're thinking as you're watching it, unless I got it wrong. So we can do architecture equals get sim instance, class name, win32, operating system and OS architecture. Now, if I run that and call architecture, it's going to be just 64 bit, right? So it's just going to be the value. So what I can do there is I can say if architecture is not equal to arm 64, arm 64 then we can say right output not arm else right output arm so that's just one example of how we can get it there now heading on over to intune what's really nice it's always nice when something is kind of baked in and we don't have to work for it too hard, we can come in and make a device filter. 
So I'm gonna go all the way in devices down to filters and we're gonna create manage devices. We're gonna say arm PCs, uh, windows PCs with arm based CPU. And then here I'll put Snapdragon, Surface Pro X, Copilot PCs. They're calling them Copilot because they're better at AI, but really has nothing to do with it. Windows 10 and later. All right, so all I have to do is go to property. CPU architecture is equal to ARM64. So they've already done the work for me. So now I have this filter. How do we use the filter? Well, that's really easy. Let's say I have an app and let's say this is, uh, let's use this Adobe, Adobe Creative Cloud. I don't know. Let's go to properties. Let's say we decide to push this to all devices, but we know that it's not compatible on ARM PCs. So we're going to go to edit, right? And you can see right now I have it available for all my uh, users with enrolled devices but I'm gonna do a filter on that, right? So I'm gonna exclude filter devices in the assignment. So I'm gonna exclude ARM. What this means now, if you are a user, right, who is on one of these new PCs, there we go, Ex exclude ARM. So what I'm doing here is I'm saying, I don't care what other PC you're on, but if you're on an ARM PC, this is not gonna be available for you to download. That's it, nice and quick today. But this is something I think that's gonna become, uh, I won't say an issue, I'll say more of a concern because these PCs are out there, you know, the OEMs are pushing hard with these. So I think all the major manufacturers, you know, uh, Surface, Dell, HP, Lenovo, they all have, uh, you know, variants of these machines and they're getting more popular. So as they start coming into your organization, it's a good idea that we at least keep some tabs on them and, you know, know how to work with them. That's it for now. We'll be seeing you.